Is the new Hellswarm UAV overpowered? My first look says yes, but I could be wrong. Hey everyone, Derpy here back with another base defense video. You all seem to like these a lot, so keep the support coming and I'll keep making these videos. This player is attacking me using three of the new Hellswarms which were released a week or two ago in Bounty. Now this player has three of them and I believe they're set up as a UAV build. And they're going to do what I was telling people to do against my base last week, where they take the UAV and park it right outside the outside of the base here, chain off my, my warehouse, my turrets, and kill my entire base. You're going to see this player is going to absolutely wreck me, and hopefully my turrets can make some amount of damage happen here, but it isn't going to be quite enough. I have tweaked my base layout since my last video by moving all the random buildings right here that were just on the outside that did nothing such as these turrets I have to keep at having a really weak weapon to have fit base power as well as my other buildings. I moved them all around to the outside so that the players couldn't attack me and chain off everything. But that's not going to stop this player here. Now when I'm talking about overpowered, it, that term is very subjective and all the top PvP players will say yes you can actually stop this. but I'm going to show you how a above average player like myself is not able to stop these things. And yes, I do only have one countermeasure ship in my guard and I don't have any countermeasure turrets, but I think that's probably about average here. Something interesting with these UAVs is that you cannot shoot them down unless you shoot them down between the time they're going from the ship to the first target. If they already hit the first target, then it's too late and you can't shoot them down even if you're in range. Even if your countermeasure does cover the range by the time it takes to get from the ship to the first target, your countermeasures often won't fire because their projectile speed is too slow compared to the projectile speed of the UAV. You can see my high guard warden really isn't shooting that much against these, these enemy mortars even, which are probably put in there to distract my countermeasures. It is shooting somewhat, you can see if you slow this down, little white blip shooting across the screen. But you can also see that it's barely shooting at the UAV when it's going targeting towards the portal and it is only shooting at the mortars otherwise. Now my high guard warden is down and there's nothing, my base has absolutely no defenses against this. I logged on to being hit by this live and it absolutely wrecked me. You can see the players parking right here, chaining off my decimators all the way onto my island here and going to kill the large portion of the inside of my base. Now a lot of this stuff is being kept at 50% because of the gatekeepers, but it's not really going to be enough. It is keeping the decimators healed, which is probably a bad thing because it's giving them something to chain off of to kill everything else. This player also has two warhounds, which they're using to send around the outside of my base to get my key buildings, and once those are down, I lose. They don't even have to kill my guard. Now some players are saying you should counter the UAV by smashing everything, build all your resource generators, put them all into the middle of your base. Other players are saying clear literally everything out of your channel and only have your ships as a way to stop the UAVs from working. I don't really like either of these two options. By the way, there is a bug where in HTML5, which I'm playing on, the tactical radiation dampener does not show up, so you can see it shooting at the Warhound, but the yellow cloud field is not there. So this player is using the Warhound to distract from the tactical radiation dampener. At this point, I have two key buildings left, one warehouse which is slightly damaged, as well as my outpost, and their player is still at pretty much a full health fleet. What's going to happen now is they're going to move into my channel and go through like a normal player would, except they only have to go through about two different moves into my actual channel. You can see the only building left now is the warehouse. I do have many of the new rockets as well for the mongoose rockets as well as the hellmouth throwers which are going to be able to do some amount of damage against this hole but as you can see it is really not enough and the player even though they are taking damage they'll be able to chain off my decimators which are being healed and therefore target onto the gatekeepers that are surfaced as well as hit all of the buildings on my island here which includes my outpost here comes a rocket just to do some more damage i'm not sure what, what they're doing for it maybe it's just a troll they already won before the rocket even hit so there we have it the health swarms are at pretty much full health still and not full they're about half health here they didn't even enter my channel and my base, base is 100 percent destroyed i would call this overpowered what do you think you'll have to let me know in the comments below Here's the battle log I'm showing you, nothing really remarkable. They took maybe 50% damage on their Hell Swarms, but nothing on the Warhounds and my guard fleet. Two of the ships were destroyed, the gatekeepers were still left up, but they didn't really do anything. In fact, they made it easier for them to chain off my decimators. I lost a little bit of medals in this battle. 
Like I said, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like base defense videos. I'll keep making more. And what you think about the new UAV. Is it overpowered? Let me know. And as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.